I am back for another tactics test. Last time out, I saw only one team win the league, so let's hope we get some better results this time out. But what tactic are we going to test today? Let's go and find out. Hello everybody and welcome to today's video where I'll be putting Luciano Spalletti's invincible 4-3-3 tactic by Josh Daly to the test with Bordeaux of the French Ligue 2, Notts County in the English National League and of course Spalletti's Napoli in the Italian Serie A to see how it does over the course of one season. And if you are enjoying these tactics test guys then please don't forget to hit that like button on today's video, subscribe to the channel and tap that little notification bell so you don't miss any future uploads. But now let's dive straight in and have a look at the tactic itself. So as the name suggests we set up this tactic with a 4-3-3 DM wide formation and we want to play with a positive mentality. In possession we have a fairly wide attacking whip. We want to play shorter passing at a slightly higher tempo. We play mixed crosses while we work the ball into the box. In transition, we want the team to counter press when possession has been lost. We want them to counter when possession has been won. We want the goalkeeper to distribute quickly when in possession. We want him to distribute to the full backs and the centre back. And we want him to take short kicks. And when out of possession, we want the team to play with a high press and a standard defensive line. We want them to trigger that press much more often whilst preventing the short goalkeeper distribution. So we've looked at the formation, the mentality and the team instructions. So now let's check out what roles the players will be playing and the specific player instructions within them. Starting off in goal, we have a sweeper keeper set to the support duty and he is instructed to take more risk. On either side of defence, we are playing win backs on support and they are instructed to run wide with the ball and get further forward. And in the centre of defence, we have two central defenders set to the defend duty and their instructions are to shoot less often, to dribble less and to hold their position. In defensive midfield, we have a deep line playmaker and he is set to the defend duty. He is instructed to shoot less often, to dribble less and to hold his position but he also has the additional instructions of tackle harder and mark tighter. On the left hand side of central midfield, we have a Mazala playing the attack duty and his instructions are to take more risk, get further forward, stay wider, move into the channels and roam from position. But he also has four additional instructions of dribble more, shoot less often, tackle harder and mark tighter. And on the right hand side of midfield is a box to box midfielder playing the support duty and his instructions are to roam from his position. But he has seven additional instructions of take more risks, dribble more, shoot less often, get further forward stay wider, tackle harder and mark tighter. We enter the final third of the pitch now with the left winger and he is playing as an inverted winger on the attack duty and his instructions are to dribble more, cut inside with the ball and get further forward but he also has the additional instruction of close down more. And on the right wing we have a winger playing the attack duty and he is instructed to dribble more, run wide with the ball, cross more often, cross from the byline get further forward and stay wider but he is also instructed to mark tighter and finally leading the line on his own is the advanced forward who plays the attack duty he is instructed to move into the channels but also has additional instructions to dribble more and shoot more often now that we've had an in-depth look at this tactic I just want to quickly show you guys the season previews for each of the three clubs give you an idea of how they're expected to perform this season so come the end of this test we can look at the results and see if this tactic has overperformed or underperformed in the season that we're just about to simulate. Starting with Napoli first in Serie A in Italy and the media prediction is for them to finish the 22-23 season in fourth place behind Giants, Inter, Juventus and AC Milan. Bordeaux in the French Ligue 2 are expected to bounce straight back from relegation last season by finishing second place. And finally it's Notts County who are expected to finish fourth in the Vanarama National League in England behind Wrexham, Chesterfield and Woking. Now we are ready to start this simulation. So I've gone into the staff responsibility screen and set the director of football at each club to be in charge of all transfers. And I've told the assistant manager to play this tactic in every game we play. So all that's left to do now is simulate the 22-23 season and see 
how this tactic performs at three different levels of football. Well guys, the simulation is complete and it is time for the results. But have any of these teams been invincible like the tactic would suggest? Let's go and find out. Starting in Italy with Napoli. Predicted to finish fourth in Syria at the start of the game. That is precisely where Napoli ended the season. Five points behind champions Roma. Three points behind second place AT Milan. And only a point behind third place Inter. They exited the Champions League in the round of 16. Losing to Chelsea. And they went out of the Coppa Italia in the quarterfinals. Losing to AT Milan. A closer look at the Serie A table now. And we can see that Napoli won 24 out of their 38 games, drawing 8 and losing 6. But despite finishing in 4th place, they were the second top goal scorers in Italy this season. Joint with Roma, scoring 74 goals. They conceded 34, giving them a goal difference of 40 as they finished the season on 80 points. Now, a big part of that great goal scoring season from Napoli there was the fact that Victor Osimhen finished the season as the Serie A top scorer, getting 33 goals in 32 appearances across the season. Over to France now and Ligue 2, where at the start, Bordeaux were expected to bounce straight back from relegation as runners-up. Well, bounce back they did, but as champions, winning the league by seven clear points. They did, however, exit the Coupe de France in the 11th round, losing to fellow Ligue 2 side, Valencian. Now looking at the league dirt table and out of the 38 games played, Bordeaux won 27, drew 8 and only lost 3. They scored a whopping 80 goals and only conceded 28, finishing the season with a goal difference of 52 and 89 points. 7 points clear of 2nd place Mets and 10 points clear of 3rd place St Etienne. And the biggest contribution to them 80 goals came from Josh Mazur and Albert Ellis who scored a combined 46 goals between them across the league dirt season and finally we're in england and the vanarama national league where not scoutly who were predicted to finish fourth at the start won the league three points clear of second place rectum they also made it to the third round of the fa cup where they were knocked out by championship side norwich city in the fa trophy they left the competition in the quarterfinals, losing to Blythe Spartans. And now looking at the National League table, across the 46 games that Notts County played this season, they won 29 of them, drew 8 and only lost 9. They scored an amazing 99 goals and only conceded 51, leaving them with a goal difference of 48 as they were crowned champions on 95 points, ahead of second place Wrexham on 92 points, and Solihull Moors in third place, 10 points behind them on 85 points. Now they owe a big chunk of them 99 goals to Chedwin Scott, who across the season scored 32 goals, finishing second in the top goal scorer chart for the Vanarama National League in the 22-23 season. So overall, this tactic saw one team finish as predicted, whereas the other two finished above expectation and won their respective leagues but all three teams scored a good total of goals in the process of testing. So guys, if you are thinking of downloading this tactic and do have the players to suit it, my advice would be to head on over to sortitoutside.net where you can download it. I will leave the link to that in the description below. And although it wasn't invincible with my test, it is still a very good tactic. So to Josh, well done mate, great work. So folks, that is it for me today. But if you want to download this tactic or anything else you've seen in this video, like my graphic, then I will leave links to all those downloads down in the description. And again, please, if you have enjoyed today's tactic test, then drop it a like, subscribe to the channel and hit that little notification bell. And lastly, if you've got any tactics of your own that you would like to see tested, then drop me a line on any of my socials and we will get sorted a video for you. So that's that. We've tested another Josh Daly tactic. And again, we've seen some pretty good results. He's pretty good at these, isn't he? Take care, guys. I'll see you soon.